Tonight, the U.S. and South Korea launching their biggest joint military exercises in years, readying themselves to defend against an evolving North Korean threat. North Korea wasting no time in retaliating. Official state media saying the North launched two cruise missiles on the eve of the drills from a submarine off North Korea's coast, claiming they flew for two hours in figure eights over the Sea of Japan. South Korea's military confirming they tracked at least one missile launch from the North, saying they're working with U.S. intelligence to analyze it. The test launched a pointed reminder of the escalating security threat from North Korea, which conducted more than 70 missile tests last year, the most ever. As the U.S. intelligence community predicts, Pyongyang may soon conduct its seventh nuclear test. Continues its efforts to steadily expand and enhance its nuclear and conventional capabilities, targeting the United States and our allies. <clears throat> this is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14, and it reads, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe. Coming quickly. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth and to you i say shalom hey shalom to you akim shalom to you very few aquaf and shalom to the hopeful elect and it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of yahweh by hashem yahweh shai and yahweh rathazah this lesson will be edifying and what's the third woe man world war three you see that now of course you got people out there that don't believe that this day will come well, according to the scriptures, right, there are many scriptures to support, right, uh, 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 the day of the Lord, man. You see that? Yes, the ICBM missiles will be used, right, and launched, and they're going to hit this place here, America, man, primarily America. You see that? And scriptures say, what if some did not believe? This day is going to happen, man. You see that? And this news article Right. It's, you know, we bring out these news articles showing you brothers and even you few sisters out there. Right. That hey man, all roads lead to the day of the Lord, man. You see that now, of course, there are, you know, a few things that have to happen, like the time of Jacob's trouble and also the mandatory implementation of the what of the MOTB, man. You see that? So this is why. Right. We should seek the Lord, man, and repent. You see that? Because there are a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of scriptures to support, right? The, the terrible day of the Lord, man. You see that? And these things right here, they're going to be used, right? Scriptures tell you that the, uh, that the nations shall hate the whore, which is America, right? And burn her with what? Fire. You see that? So you see these things right here? They're called ICBM missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man, Right? There's a fire uh, that uh, there's a fire that devoured before them, man. Shlaki, there's a fire. That, yeah, there's a fire that devoured before them and behind them a flame burneth, man. You see that? And what is that flame that burneth behind them? Right. The propulsion system that's used to launch these missiles uh, in the atmosphere, man. You see that? And hey, man, the warhead, it hurts, man. It's going to cause a lot of hurt. Scriptures say in the book of Joel. Right, the book of Joel, that uh that the land shall be a garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. You see? So this is why we should repent, man. You see that? And again, what if some did not believe? You know, these lessons are gonna go up because our jobs as watchmen, right, is to tell you about this terrible day, man. You see that? And it and it's gonna happen. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 46, verse 6. It reads, the heathen rage, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice and the earth melted. You see that? So, yeah, man, this is everything right here in a nutshell. You see that? These heathens, right? They went around conquering the earth, right? They built up kingdoms. You see that? And they, man, the Lord is getting ready to utter his voice. You see that? 
and hey man, the earth is going to melt. Now the earth abided forever, but primarily America, man, is going to be destroyed. And also Israel, man. You see that? So this is why we should repent. All right, let's grab this too. This is the book of Psalm chapter 58, verse 7. It reads, let them melt away as waters which runneth continually. You see that, name, man? Right? These, these uh, uh, governments and these rulers, they're going to melt away, man. You see that? Like water. You see? Let's keep going here. When he bendeth the bow to shoot his arrows. You see that? And what is the modern day arrow? Right? What is the modern day bow, man? I just shook this right here, man. The ICBM missiles. Intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. You see that? This is the modern day bow. You see? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's keep going here. Psalm chapter 58, verse 7. Let them melt away as the water which runneth continually. When he bendeth the bow to shoot his arrows, let them be cut in pieces. You see that, name, man? You so-called black slide on Native Americans, man. You do not want to be caught up in the day of the Lord, man. You see, this is why, this is why we push, right? The fear of the Lord, man. You see that? And, to, and for you individuals to turn back from your wickedness. You see? Now, the choice is yours. Either you could choose life, right, and repent or not. You see? Let's keep going here. Just something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 16. It reads, Behold. I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire. You see that? And what is the uh, what is the smith, right? These uh, these scientists, man, right? They were used to do what? Split the atoms. You see? Creating a what? A nuclear warhead. You see that? Let's keep going here. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. See that? And I have created the waster to destroy. You see that? So this waster... You know, this is the IC intercontinental ballistic missile, man. You see that just sitting there waiting to be used, right? They're going to be used. You see? Let's go ahead and bring another precept here, All right? <clears throat> Let's bring this one in too, you know? This is the book, Shlocky. I just read that, All right? It's important for you individuals out there to repent, man, because this place here is going to be swept. See, when an ICBM missile goes off, it releases a, a, a mushroom cloud. You see that? And what's right behind that? A, a, a great flash. You see? Then the earth is going to shake, right? And then you're going to feel a what? A destroying wind. And you do not want to be caught up in that destroying wind because, because you did not want to repent, man. You see? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 1. It reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, I was shy. Behold. I will rise up against Babylon. What's ba and what's what's today? Uh, what's Babylon? America, man. You see that? Because when you think about ancient Babylon, ancient Babylon was not destroyed by fire. You see? This is Babylon, America, man. Continuing on. And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. You see that? So, yeah, man, you do not want to be caught in this destroying wind, right? You can have a lot of Jake out there that's going to be looking like a, a, a Ovaltine powder, man, all right? Nest quick, looking like pancake mix, you see? Let's keep going here. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 2, I will, I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her. And they shall empty her land. You see that? And what's the fanners, man? The ICBM missiles. You see? For in for in socket, for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. You see that? So yeah, man, this place here, America, is gonna be devastated, right? With ICBM missiles. Scriptures say that this place here is gonna reel to and fro like a drunkard. That's how hard this place is gonna be rocked, man. You see that? If you can imagine, right, a pool of water and imagine you taking rocks, a handful of rocks and throwing them up in the air and all the rocks hit the water, right? What happens? They create waves. You see that? So this was going to happen to this place, man, right? The ICBM missiles are going to rock the land 
and it's going to shake the earth. You see? Let's keep going. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 22, and it reads, For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, I will shy of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and the son and nephew, saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You see that? So on, on the terrible day of the Lord, nothing is going to be remaining here. You see that? So America is not going to be rebuilt, right? And again, this day is, is coming. It vastly approaches, man. You see that? Continuing on. I will also make it a possession of the bittern and pools of water. You see that? So only desert creatures are going to dwell here, man. You see that? And, and based off the impact from all the craters, it's going to be pools of water, man. Right? And I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. You see that? So yeah, man, the Lord is going to sweep this place with that besom of destruction, man. You see, which is that destroying wind, right? That's caused by the ICBM missiles, man. Let's go ahead and read this too, man. Shalakia. Let's go ahead and read this too. This is why, you know, you individuals out there, you should repent. And you brothers and you few sisters out there, man, right? Just, just call and worship on the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because this day draws very near. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 20. And it says, come my people. Right? Into thou, into thy chambers. You see that? So on the day of the Lord, when these missiles are falling, at the same time, the men of the Lord are going to be getting beamed up. You see that? The ones that the Lord will have mercy on, man. Right? And even you few sisters and children, man. You see? And how are we going to get beamed up into the UFO? Right? Which people don't believe. And again, scriptures say, what if some did not believe, man? Right? Continuing on. Hide thyself. As it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. You see that? So, hey, man, we're going to be hidden, right, on the day of the Lord, man. Right? And this is why we're trying to get you individuals to do what? Man, turn from your wickedness. We're, tell we're doing these lessons. They're going up. They're going out. You see that? Scripture tell you that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, and then the end shall come. You see that? And, hey, man, aren't these lessons going out through the four corners of the earth? The answer is yes. You see that? So the end is very near. Right? Let's continue on in this. Just something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 21. For behold, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai cometh out of his place. You see that? To punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. You see that? So, so Yahweh Shai, he is coming. You see that? He is coming. He's, he's already here. You see that? They, they just spotted a large UFO you know, or a chariot in the earth's atmosphere, man. You see that? Or abo uh, uh, hovering above the earth, man. You see? And we call it the fathership. You know, so the chariots, they are here already. And they also are going to take part in this place here being destroyed, man. You see? Anyway, let's keep going. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. You see that? So, yeah, man. Right, on the day of the Lord, that's it. It's over. You know, so this devil here, right, Esau, Edom, he's losing his grip, right, in his kingdom, man. That's why scriptures say, um, that's why scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, uh, for unrighteous dealings, right, and riches and injuries, got, uh, uh, for uh, unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by the seat, right, and who did that? Esau Edom. You see that? And it says that this kingdom is being translated from one people to another. You see that? So as they're losing their power, we're gaining ours. You see that? Let's go ahead and grab one more. All right? I don't want to keep this lesson, you know, long at all. Because this is the message we keep, you know, like in my messages, I tell you individuals to seek the Lord, man. Seek Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and repent and turn back from your wickedness. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 3. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all ye meek of the earth. You see that? And amen. Who's the meek? The, the Israelites. You see that? Which have wroth his judgment. You see that? And amen. We have wroth the Lord's judgment. You so called blacks, Latino, David Americans, man. Why? Because we transgressed against the Lord. 
You see that? Then it says, seek righteousness. You see? Seek meekness. You see that? So these are the things that you're supposed to be seeking, man. Seeking right things. You see that? Let's keep going here. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. You see that? So, you know, I wanted to bring out this article. It came out just a few hours ago. You see? And hey, man, we pray that we are here in the day of the Lord's anger, man. You see that? Because, you know, these missiles, they will be launched. You see that? They're already test firing them. You know? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel. Until the next time I say, Shalom. There's a bunch of scriptures that I could have got into, but, you know, just want to keep it short, simple, and sweet. This day does come, man, and it's coming fast. And to you, I say, Shalom. Security threat from North Korea, which conducted more than 70 missile tests last year, the most ever. As the U.S. intelligence community predicts, Pyongyang may soon conduct its seventh nuclear test.